Okay, so this is Jonathan. Uh, today I wanted to demonstrate uh, an affine transformation and perspective projection hardware demo. So this video is going to go through uh, the affine transformations and the perspective projection effect which is used in a lot of 3D graphics demonstrations and games and also in the Super Nintendo uh, where it's otherwise known as Mode 7. Um, <clears throat> so for the first demonstration this is going to be the rotation transformation. So we can rotate clockwise, counterclockwise. Uh, we can also change the rotational axis which is noted by this uh, pink square box here and if we rotate again now we rotate about that point okay um, and then we can also move the image we can translate it along the x and y axes and I'm just controlling this with a Ninten Nintendo controller hooked up to my FPGA development board and then the next transformation is going to be shearing so we can shear along the X and along the Y or both okay. and then we can also change similar to the way we did with the um, rotation transformation we can translate it we can also change the shearing axis so if we put the dot in the upper left corner it basically locks that edge down is what it's doing um, so yeah okay then next transformation will be scaling so we can scale along the X and scale along the Y or we can do both simultaneously okay and then next up is perspective projection so this is just a default projection here we can rotate this image in either direction so now this is applying the rotational transformation to the perspective uh, projection image um, and we can also scale it okay. <clears throat> and then we can also change the cameras the Z coordinate camera or I whatever you want to call it and in addition we can also change the horizon so we can push the horizon further down or further up <clears throat> um, and then if we take this uh, projection and we set the camera and horizon up to something that looks nice and add a little background to it um, and little Mario Kart character we can make it look like this and then I set it up so I can actually steer around the track so this is very similar to it's not it's obviously not the same but this is just a mock-up but this is very similar to how the Super Nintendo mode 7 worked and this projection is actually being rendered with a scaling um, lookup table based on which scan line is currently being rendered so very similar to how Super Nintendo game would do it but that's basically it so hope that you found that interesting <laughs>